So it's been a busy day in the world of entertainment. Uh, for more information uh, about the entertainment world, here's some news for you. Walt Disney World has announced it will reopen its original theme park, the Magic Kingdom, on July 11th. Now, if you know or have been to Disney World, there are four theme parks, unlike the one here in Disneyland with the, the, her the original Heritage Park, right? There's only one here in Anaheim. In Florida, the Walt Disney World is comprised of four theme parks. The original Magic Kingdom will reopen on July 11th. Now, what does that have to do with Disneyland? Well, what Disney Resorts in general is trying to do is create this symbiotic relationship between the two uh, parks in the United States. And today, Disney submitted to the Orange County Economic Task Force a proposal to open on July 11th with certain contingencies. And some of those contingencies, as you're well aware, is heavy mass throughout the park. Um, there's certain distances and zones. There's an elaborate new signage system that's going to go up in Walt Disney World and eventually in Disneyland if the Economic Task Force approves the reopening of Disneyland July 11th. And here's where, what I think of that. If any of you have ever been to Disneyland or Disney World, it's a place where people interact with each other. That's kind of the beauty of the place. Um, now, how is this going to affect your enjoyment of the park? You know, for those diehards, they're going to want to go regardless. But for the average theme park goer, think of how many hours you actually spend in the park. You know, the price of going into Disneyland, let alone Disney World, is extremely expensive. And if you're forced to wear a mask for the limit of the hours that you're there, most people spend the whole day there, 8 to 12 hours a day at Disneyland or Disney World. And so, are you going to feel comfortable wearing a mask this whole time, keeping your social distancing between uh, traveling throughout the park? And what does this have going forward? Going Well, what's the result of this going to be in terms of getting on rides? I suspect that many of the rides will not be operational. Uh, you're going to miss out. I don't think parades will be uh, available, a firework show. Because those two in particular, they're group gathering uh, um, ventures, right? You have... People are packed on down Main Street for parades as well as the fireworks show. So, obviously, those things aren't going to happen. Second thing, how is the eateries going to handle providing you uh, a safe place to eat? Um, one of the proposals is that Disney plans to have what's called relaxation zones. Um then go into specifics on what this is. I assume this may be zones where um, people are separated by 6 or 10 feet and they're able to take off their masks and maybe relax. It, it's not that specific. I assume it's just people who are having a hard time keeping that face mask on can go to these uh, sanctioned relaxation zones. There's also going to be a um, Disney cast member crew walking around the theme park, encouraging and maybe instilling these social distance protocols. So something you saw in Shanghai Disney is that there was a squad of cast members walking around, encouraging social distancing. And if that wasn't taking place in a very Disney-esque way, they were going to ask you to spread apart and uh, adhere to the social distancing rules. So we'll see what happens. I personally think it's a bad idea to open it this soon. I suspect on a personal level, you're going to see a lot of people get sick again. And I think this is going to increase a second wave earlier in this country. I just think these people are just so gung-ho to get back uh, to normal. They're not thinking about the consequences of what will happen 
in these group settings. You know, I understand everybody's taking a hit financially, um, but what's at play here? The risk of a nation's health or its risk of its economic health? That's something to weigh. But having said that, that was my soapbox moment. Disney World will reopen on July 11th with a slow phase into opening the other theme parks. Whether or not the Orange County Task Force will approve it, I don't know. I don't know if that's something the governor can uh, veto. Uh, as we know, he is very stringent here in California, Governor Newsom, in terms of having large-scale events occur. And just on the other side of it, think about how long it takes to go into Disneyland. Imagine now with these protocols... It's going to take an extreme amount of time to not even get to get into the park, let alone uh, venture through the park, keeping the social distancing, wearing masks. We'll see what happens. So just a little uh, update on Disneyland, Disney World, and we'll see what happens. Uh, keep it here on Zany 62.